Right when I start my vlog, my toilet's running. It's always something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am 40 weeks pregnant today, so I thought I would do like a little special vlog. My parents are here to help watch Annabelle for whenever I go into labor. I thought I was going into labor last night. I literally was awake all night, but I think it was just anxiety, I don't know. Um, but anyways, so I'll show you guys my stomach. For 40 weeks, I'm wearing this dress. It's like maternity from Banana Republic. I know you guys have seen it, but it's literally the only thing that fits me. This and like two other things. My house is a disaster, but whatever. So it looks this big. I think the baby's gonna be only six pounds because the ultrasounds are always off, but we are gonna find out. So today's exciting because me and my mom are gonna go get our nails done, which we never do together because obviously she lives in California. We live in South Carolina. Um, and we also have a doctor's appointment where they're gonna check to see if I'm dilated and they might do a membrane sweep. I heard it hurts really bad because even just the lady checking for dilation hurts me. So I don't know, I must be a wussy. So yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along with us. Heading inside to maybe get a membrane sweep. Mom, did you ever get a membrane sweep with me? Nope, never heard of it. <laughs> Apparently it's brutal, we will find out. Well, we'll see if I'm even dilated because you don't get it unless you're dilated. But we'll see. Not di- or I'm half a- Half a inch. Half an inch dilated. So I'm such a failed vlogger. I haven't vlogged in like forever, so. You're vlogging today? Yeah. I didn't even know I've been trapped. I've been like locked in a room. Anyways, today's been a fail. Not having the baby right now at least but having lots of Braxton Hicks, so we will see. What, Doug? Nothing. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Speed it up. Come on, baby. <laughs> so anyways, I just made my parents a ginormous salad because they came to our house on the keto diet. And I'm like, why? I hate the keto diet. I hate diets. I know a lot of you guys probably love it, but it's so irritating because all they can eat is meat and cheese. So anyways, trying to you know, be supportive, so that's what they're getting. <laughs> I made dinner and I was like, screw this. I tried to make it as keto as I could, but I mean, dear God, like it is very restrictive. My mom legit ate some butter today because she was so hungry. It's just like, it makes it no sense. It's not even like grass fed butter. It's just like regular unsalted stick of butter. But they've lost a lot of weight. I just do not think it's a lifestyle. It's not a lifestyle for me, that's for sure. No. But anyways, I mean, they're healthier people for it. So, you know, whatever. So anyways, we're gonna have dinner. They are occupying Annabelle outside with the ball. Let's see what's going on out here. Dad's just throwing the ball at Annabelle's head. On her head? Really? We have the worst dishes ever. They're eating out of ramen bowls, which Christiana gave it to us. And we don't even have enough like water cups, which I honestly did not even notice. My dad pointed out. So, well, Doug's having a LaCroix, but we're drinking out of mugs, most of us. <laughs> Annabelle's got a quesadilla. Looking good. What is that noise? You guys have no idea what they've been doing in here. They made a crazy fort. Bamba, what are you doing? A sheet, an air mattress, Amazon box. Oh, she got me. Organizing all the baby clothes my mom brought. This place is already a disaster. Organized it once, Annabelle ripped everything out. Story of my life. Annabelle is brushing my hair with a hamster hairbrush. <laughs> We still breastfeed about twice a day. Don't we, Douglas? I mean, is it considered breastfeeding or is it just considered Annabelle likes her attention? Annabelle just likes attention. <laughs> but it's all right by me. She says, milk feed. Mommy feed. Mommy feed. Is that what you said? I do not know how it's gonna be with the new baby, but we're gonna play it by ear. Honestly, like the breastfeeding is really just a time for me to talk to her about her day. Uh huh, Doug? Yeah. Annabelle, this hamster hairbrush is getting me. So I thought I would give you guys a little update on my thoughts before going into labor. Okay, so things I'm scared of, not necessarily scared, but things on my mind, will I have to be induced? Because I'm scheduled to be induced on Tuesday, and today is Tuesday, so seven days from now. Um, and yeah, apparently if you get induced, it lowers your chance of having a VBAC. So that's annoying. Hopefully I go into labor on my own. I'm gonna try and eat spicy foods, do all the stuff that you need to do to have labor, but we will see. Walk a lot. Um, and okay, so that's on my mind. Second thing is I was really nervous to leave Annabelle, obviously. That's like always a question you guys ask me. 
how she's gonna cope or whatever um and at first I was really nervous and I still think I'm gonna have like probably some kind of a mental break right when I go into labor and I have to leave her unless she's sleeping or something I don't know I'm pretty emotional pregnant I feel a lot better now that my parents are here because I see that she's still just as obsessed with them as ever so yeah they're gonna watch her I'm not sure if my mom's gonna be with me in the labor because she just loves my mom so much that I feel like I should just have her stay with my mom and my dad she loves my dad as well but like I don't know grandma's they just know what's up. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until the last minute to decide whether or not she's gonna be in the room with me. For those of you guys who don't know, my mom is a nurse and she used to work a long time ago in delivery rooms, so she knows all about it, which is like a good and bad thing because she's highly judgmental of like all the nurses and it makes me stressed out. But it's also good because like she knows what to ask and like what should be happening. Not that she can really control anything, so I don't know if it's a good thing, but it's pretty entertaining seeing her in her element um at least it was last time um so the other thing i'm actually not really nervous about like the uterine rupture you can you hear annabelle um that's something that is like a very small percentage like chance to happen so I'm really not that nervous about that knock on wood um breastfeeding obviously intimidates me because for anyone that doesn't know Breastfeeding Annabelle was such a challenge because she had like a class four tongue and a lip tie, which we found out I think after she was a month old. So we had to get it clipped and it was just a nightmare. So I had to supplement with formula through like a feeding tube and I did that for months on end and I was so psychotic about like giving her breast milk as opposed to formula and there's nothing wrong with formula. I just, I don't know. I was like very hormonal about it. So yeah, that's on my mind. Um, but other than that, we're just playing the waiting game to see what's gonna happen. And last time I went into labor three days after my due date, so I'm not sure. They say it's like around the same time for your second child, but for me it's a little different because I didn't actually have like, like I went into labor and I had contractions for I think around five hours, but I didn't do any actual pushing. So it's, I don't know, my doctor said it's basically like I'm a new, like a first time mom. So I had a C-section, so we will see if it'll take the same amount of time to go into labor, or maybe I'll go into labor tomorrow. Douglas, You're question. You're not walking with me. Question for you <laughs> while you walk downstairs. What, your head's cut off. What are you most nervous for? Ready, go. What am I no most nervous for, for what? For the birth. Everything, life. What is number one? Um, Just remembering to do everything again. Like remembering mean? how to do everything. Doug wanted to get the outlet like and I was like, $300 for a heart monitor. It might be worth it. Let us know. Maybe we'll be those parents. Yeah, I might actually just go buy one. We didn't buy one last time, but we were also dead broke. <laughs> yeah, super <laughs> dead broke. But Doug, what do you think what? you're going? <laughs> He's trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going into the kitchen to have my last bowl. Maybe it's not my last, but one of my last bowls of cereal. Today's pick, Cinnamon Life, because it is amazing. I haven't held back. I look like a hot mess. Haven't held back on this pregnancy at all. I weigh close to 160, which, I mean, I started at 128, so it's not that bad, but the last time, I think I only gained like 23 pounds. YOLO. Weight loss is just such a mission. Maybe I'll do the keto diet, just kidding. No way. I have had the weirdest cravings this pregnancy. Well, they're not that weird. They're just weird for me. Like putting fruit on my cereal, I know is a normal thing for other people, but I don't know, my entire life I thought it was so weird. And now all I wanna do is put like blueberries in my milky cereal, which is very strange to me, but it's good. I sent Doug to the store to get well, not just this, but one of the things on the list was like blueberries. It sounds like I'm so high maintenance, but whatever. They're squishy. It's the worst kind of blueberry. Ugh. I can hear Annabelle just running my dad upstairs. Literally and figuratively. Annabelle is picking out all the blue blues. Alright, we'll go out. It's only take us a minute. Annabelle! <laughs> Annabelle Rose! Do you like blueberries? Yeah. Oh, oh, Vuvu. Well, you have the same Grandpa in Portuguese, if you're oh, wondering. I've got a different pair this time because 
You know how they flex out like that? Uh -huh. I kept breaking those off. Are they so I'm about to take a shower because I'm taking one every night just in case I go into labor because you have a C-section, you literally don't shower for days. Um, if that happens, we will see. But anyways, I thought I would end the vlog. And thank you guys so much for all of your support with just everything. You guys are the best. I just had the urge to vlog today because it feels weird not sharing like such a pivotal part of my life when I've been sharing like everything with you guys for years. Um, so yeah, I still am going to try and vlog like everything else. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and I will vlog the birth and whatever happens afterwards. Super excited and definitely still nervous about just everything. Bringing life into this world is like no joke for sure. We have everything ready and like a bunch of new baby contraptions. I'll show you guys in the next vlog. But yeah, so that is pretty much it for today's random vlog. Hope you guys liked it. Press the like button if you like these types of videos. I know most of you guys do. Um, and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.